Astronomy and Hydrology – The Lunar Effect on Earth's Tides Tides are the rise and fall of the water level in Earth's oceans every day. Usually, this happens twice a day, so there are two low tides and two high tides, about six hours apart. This is called a semi-diurnal tide pattern. In some places in the world, there is only one high tide and one low tide per day, about 12 hours apart, and this is called a diurnal tide pattern. Some other places in the world have a mix of diurnal and semi-diurnal tides, depending on the season and time of month. Tides happen because of the gravity of the Earth, Moon and Sun all working on the water on Earth's surface. The moon is the body with the most gravitational effect on the tides. Let's have a quick look at what gravity means. Isaac Newton's theory of universal gravitation states that all particles and bodies in the universe are attracted to other particles and the amount of attraction is directly proportional to the mass or size of each particle or body. So, a bigger object has a higher gravitational pull. The pull of gravity is what keeps everything in place in the universe. Earth's gravity keeps the moon in orbit and its rotation mostly keeps the oceans at an equal level on the Earth. The tides are caused by the moon's gravitational force disrupting the water level and accelerating the ocean towards it. This causes Earth's ocean to bulge towards the moon. Where this happens, it is high tide and other areas experience low tide. Another bulge on the other side of the Earth is caused by the Moon's gravitational force pulling the Earth away from the water on the far side and by the centrifugal force created by Earth's spin creating a counterweight for the displaced water. So, high tides and low tides happen on opposite sides of the Earth at the same time. Tides vary with the time of month and time of year. The sun also affects the tides, but because it is so far away, its gravitational pull is not as significant as the moon's. When the sun and moon line up during a new moon or a full moon, the tides are increased because of the combined gravity. These extra high and low tides are called spring tides. When the sun and moon are not lined up during the first and third quarters of the moon's orbit, the sun's gravitational pull diminishes the effect of the moon's gravitational pull, and the tides are less extreme. These are called nymph tides. The tides also vary during the year, because both the moon's orbit around the Earth and the Earth's orbit around the sun are elliptical. When the moon is closest in its orbit to Earth, at its perigee, the tides can increase by up to 50%. Likewise, when the moon is at its furthest point, its apogee, its effect on the tides is much lower. This is also true of the sun's effect when Earth is at its closest and furthest points in orbit. The gravitational force of Earth causes a tidal effect on the moon. Because the moon has no oceans, Earth's gravitational force causes a tidal effect in the molten layer under the moon's crust, making the heavy materials in the fluid move to the side of the moon closest to the Earth. The tides in Earth's oceans are a potentially a source of renewable energy. Ocean turbines use the surge of the tides in and out to spin turbines and generate energy. Turbines are most effective in shallow water and may be single turbines or barrages of turbines. Tidal energy is an untapped resource but is not used because of the potential of high energy output turbines for severe environmental damage such as marine life becoming endangered or extinct due to disruption of tides. Thank you for watching.